Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this full CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. I want to show you how the command history works in a second, so I'm just going to enter a couple of random commands in here. This is just adding a couple of host entries. Don't worry too much about what this command does, it's not important. I'm just using this to illustrate the command history coming up in a second. So I'm adding IP host server 1 and IP host server 2. Next. I'm going to change the name of my router. I'm going to give it a host name, but I'm going to deliberately make a mistake here. So I type in router1 and hit enter, and you'll see it tells me invalid input detected at the marker. It's because I forgot to say host name at the start here. So let's correct that, but rather than typing the whole thing in again, when you make a typo on a command, the quickest way to correct it is to hit the up arrow and then that will bring the previous command back again. Now what I can do is I can use the left arrow to move the cursor to the left, but if it's a big long command, a way that you can do this quicker is by hitting control A and that will bring you to the start of the line. So I hit the up arrow to get the previous command back, then control A to move to the start of the line and I can now type in host name and a space and that's the correct command now. So I hit enter and notice that the prompt changes to reflect the host name that I just entered there. Next, I'm going to show you command history. So I'm going to hit the up arrow a few times and you'll see each time I hit the up arrow, it cycles back through my previous commands. That's why I entered those commands earlier. Notice that it only cycles back through commands at the same level. I'm in global configuration here, so it's cycling back through the commands I entered in global configuration mode. It doesn't show the commands that I entered at the enable prompt or in the user mode. Now I'm just going to delete this command to show you the next thing. While I'm in global configuration, if I try to do a show command, so let's do a show IP interface brief and I hit enter and I get the invalid input detected. You know I said earlier that where you'll most often see this is if you've put in a typo. The other place where you'll often see it is if you're at the wrong command level. When you're a beginner, this is the most frustrating thing about the iOS command line. You'll make this mistake a lot where you're going to be at the wrong level when you enter a command. Our show and our debug commands are entered in privileged exec mode at the enable prompt. If I try to put it in in global config, it's going to give me an error message. But this could be really annoying. So thankfully, there's a workaround for this when you want to enter a show command because it is very common to put show commands in. And what I can do is I'm going to enter the same command, but I'm going to put do at the front. So again, I'm going to use the command history here. Rather than typing the whole thing in, I hit the up arrow to get the command back, then control A to go back to the start of the line. Then I type in do and a space and hit enter, and you'll see that the show command is going to work now. And when you enter do, that will work from any level unless you're actually in privileged exec mode. At privileged exec mode, you have to do the show command without do. At all the other levels, you put do in front of the show and then it's going to work. So, so far we've seen the user exec mode, the privileged exec mode, also known as the enable prompt, and global configuration. There's other levels when you're configuring something specific on the router, meaning at global configuration, this is where I would do my global configuration for things that affect the router as a whole. If I wanted to configure a specific interface, I need to go to that level in the command hierarchy. 
So looking at my output here, I can see the interfaces I've got available on this router. If I wanted to configure interface fast ethernet 00, for example, putting an IP address on there, I have to go to interface configuration mode. So to get there, the command is interface and I'll use tab completion here. So interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. And notice here that in the output above, fast ethernet that was capitalized at the start. Here, I don't need to use capital letters, iOS, is not case sensitive. It doesn't matter if you use uppercase or lowercase, with one exception that we'll talk about a little bit later in this lecture. So I go to interface fast ethernet 00, zero hit enter. You'll see that the command prompt changes again to show config dash if, and I can see very clearly that I'm at the interface configuration level. If I want to drop back down a level, I enter the exit command, and that takes me back to global config. If I wanted to go to the enable prompt again, I would enter exit again, and that will drop me back to the enable prompt to privileged exec mode. Notice from here, I can enter interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. This is gonna give me an error message because you have to go up through the levels one by one. You can't skip straight from the enable prompt to the interface prompt. So I'll go back through the levels. So I enter config T to get to global configuration and then interface fast zero slash zero to get to the interface mode. So when you go up through the levels, you have to go one by one. When you drop back down the levels, you can actually do that all in one go. So it was exit to drop down one level. To drop all the way back to the enable prompt with one command, I can enter end. Another way I could have done that would be by hitting Control c on the keyboard. Okay, a couple of the most common commands you'll use when you're working on a Cisco router or switch is the show IP interface brief that you saw earlier. That will show all the interfaces on the router and the state of the interface, whether it's up or not, and also the IP address configured on the interface as well, if there's an IP address on there. The other show command that is used really, really often is show running config. That shows the entire configuration on the router. And I'll hit the space bar here to scroll through the configuration. And you can see even on a new router, it's a really long configuration file and it's gonna take quite a while to scroll through there. On a production router, it's gonna be even longer because there's gonna be actual configuration in there. There are switches we can use for the show run command, which are gonna help us target the actual part of the configuration that we want to look at. For example, if I want to look at the configuration for a particular interface, I can do show run interface, and then the interface I'm interested in, and it shows me just that part of the configuration. So to see the interface config, it's show run, and then interface and the interface number. The other switches that we can use on the show run command use a pipe. And to give you an example of that, I can do a show run and then the pipe symbol, which looks like that. And then the available options after there, the ones that are most commonly used, begin is probably the most commonly used. I can also include and exclude as well. So for example, I could do show run begin host name and this will show me the running config, but starting from where host name shows up in the running configuration. Now, you know, I said that there's an exception to when the iOS command line is case sensitive or not. Well, when you use a pipe, this is actually using a regular expression, which is case sensitive. So if I did a show run pipe, begin and try not to put a typo in and then host name with a capital H and hit enter, you'll see it's gonna just go straight back to the command line again. This is not an error. The reason is that host name with a capital H is not in the running config at all, so there's no output to show. To give you examples for the other pipe options, I could do a show run and then pipe it to include interface and it will show me all the lines that include interface, meaning the word interface in the actual output. 
I can also do a show run and pipe that and exclude interface. This will show me all lines from the configuration that do not include the word interface. And I can also do a show run and pipe and section interface that will show me the configuration for all my different interfaces. Now, when you've got a production router, you're not going to just have interfaces configured on there. You'll have other things like routing protocols, for example. So I could also do a show run pipe it section and put in the particular part of the configuration I want to see here. Now, if you put in a question mark, it's not very useful here because it just tells you line telling you to use a regular expression. But for example, I could put in section BGP to see information about the BGP routing protocol. I haven't configured it on this router yet, so I'm not going to get any output. But if I was using BGP on this router and I had a big long configuration on there, this would be a useful command because it would just take me straight to the BGP config and I could see that very clearly. Okay, so that's how to navigate the iOS command line. In the next lecture, we'll take a look at how to manage our configuration files. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can click on the link above my head or in the description to enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.